you haven't given up and you are not meant to just survive. You're not meant to go through life on autopilot. The dreams and when we give attention to them, whoa, do they show up? Whoa, do they explode inside of us? Whoa, do, do we get to live with that feeling? Hello, my gorgeous, gorgeous soul. Mexico, I am still here looking at an array of turquoise waters outside of my suite and getting ready for my mastermind group that I have the privilege and honor of spending three glorious and transformational days with tomorrow. And I wanted to come on here because I am so grateful for our connection and I am so grateful that you are on the journey and I am so grateful that on some level inside of you, you are keeping the faith for the higher level in your life, for greater abundance, more love, more joy, that level that you know somehow, you know inside of you that it's possible. Those, those dreams that haven't manifested yet or haven't yet come to fruition. And when we get too routine and too bogged down and too in the trenches, the sparkle can seem non-existent. The belief can seem non-existent. And I just got out of a meditation that so deeply rooted me into the vision, the feeling, and most importantly, the knowing that my biggest desires, my deepest desires, the ones that have been in, inside of me for decades that haven't yet come through to fruition, they will, and they are. It was interesting. I'm here with my friend, Terry Cole, and we've had some beautiful girl time this week. And if you don't know who Terry is, she is boundary boss, central, amazing human, everything glorious. And, you know, we were talking about our humble beginnings and we both, be, you know, started out as therapists. Well, we both were therapists. She, she started out on a different path. Um, but at the very beginning of my career, I was a therapist. And anyways, looking around today at how much what she and I both are living was once only the dream. And I was sitting here looking at, you know, in no particular order, but, you know, I'm staying at a luxury oceanfront property, hosting a super high level mastermind and traveling the world and living abroad. And, you know, I'm not saying this list in, in any way to brag, but in every way to humbly remind myself and you that perhaps what you're currently living was one day the dream. You know, I said to her, you know, I have incredible private clients globally. I've got this mastermind, you know, I have podcasts, the book, the things, and, you know, I'm traveling from here to New York on Monday, and I'll spend a couple of days there with some friends, and, and Glenn's going to meet me there, take off from New York, go to London, spend a night there, and have a great dinner, and then land in Florence, where I live, for a couple of days that I'm meeting a awesome private client in Rome at the Soho house and for one day intensive. And I was like, wow, this, you know, like, I think sometimes I can get so caught up in what I haven't accomplished and, and what else I'm working on. And, and even my own woe is me stuff. Like, why hasn't this manifested yet? Like, meaning like the next thing. And I just had to stop. And I was like, Gina, $75,000 in debt, broke self, begging people to do $25 life coaching sessions with you. 
would be really high-fiving you in this moment. And not me for a particular accomplishment, but just realizing that the faith that I had in me, that one day I would make a difference in the world and one day I would live a big life and one day I would live a lifestyle that lit me up. It's here, but it doesn't feel like the, the destination. I'm loving it. I'm enjoying it. And probably like you, you know, so much of what you're experiencing right now, what you have manifested and what you have accomplished and who you've become. I just don't want us to lose sight of it. We don't have to become complacent and you don't have to be like, would just be happy with what you have because I certainly am not. I'm grateful, deeply, deeply grateful for what I have and am experiencing and have accomplished and joyfully am honored to contribute in the way that I do. And God is God, infinite is infinite. Our desires are unending as they should be. I was talking to uh, another friend of mine earlier today and we were just kind of talking about some different desires that, that haven't yet manifested and can't quite figure out how to do it. And you know, we were just in the conversation of it. And it felt so good to be in, in connection and, and deep, real conversation. So my point here is none of us are done. None of us have arrived. None of us have stopped dreaming. I doubt you've stopped dreaming if you're listening to this podcast. There are women and men and people who have given up hope, people who don't see a light at the end of the tunnel, people can't, who can't see out of their circumstances. And if that is you, I applaud you for pressing play. I surround you with like, I'm just reaching out to give you the biggest hug and squeeze to let you know that this too shall pass. And even if you don't know how, and you know, maybe aren't sitting poolside today, that the, the emotions have gotten really intense. You haven't given up and you are not meant to just survive. You're not meant to go through life on autopilot the dreams and when we give attention to them, whoa, do they show up? Whoa, do they explode inside of us? Whoa, do, do we get to live with that feeling of it being already done? And I am not gonna sugarcoat this one. I daily have to work on that. It's amazing how I can wake up in a funk or I can wake up and be in a great mood. And it can be like an hour later and I'm like, can be in the, you know, all is relative depths of despair of my own conditioning, my own stuckness, my own, is it ever gonna happen for me? My own comparisonitis. It's just, this moment is not the moment that I'm in that. So if I can share some of the, high frequency and vibration from the meditation, like my heart is just pouring out, pouring out, pouring out enthusiasm, joy, belief. I think that's maybe what I've got, what, what I myself needed. Um, you know, I could have gone for a margarita at the pool. I haven't had one yet today. And I was like, no, you know what? That's just going to, send me in my same mood into a nap, into the next thing I got to do. I was reaching for something higher. So I left the pool and came up to my room and went into this incredible meditation. And I, I'm in it right now. I am in the strength, the power, the belief, the knowedness, the certainty. Like I'm in the already doneness of it. And this 
is how we manifest. We are not going to get more of what we want by being in a curmudgeon mood, by being down on ourselves, by being mad at God or mad at other people. So I want you to, and I know this is easier said than done. Believe me, I am not pointing a finger. And I challenge us all to use the tools that we have. So many people don't know about the books that you know. And there's probably a book that you could go open up right now. And if you read one full page, it's going to put you in a different vibration and different mood. Or maybe for you, it is a meditation, or maybe for you, it's prayer. Maybe it's, it's gospel music, or maybe it's JLo. Some of us think that those are the same. Um, putting yourself, maybe you get in and out from a, behind a computer and go in for a walk. Maybe it's a yoga class. Maybe it's connecting with a friend who just always fills your heart with joy. There are things that we can do to make us more magnetic. And when I say make us more magnetic, I mean accessing the magnetism that is within us. Because we know law of attraction. We know spiritually we are always, always, always attracting to us. Whether it is things that we want or things that we don't want. And it's all based on our vibration. So putting yourself in the environment that has you believing in you, excited about your life, having the faith that you don't even need to know how it's going to happen, but that it absolutely, absolutely, absolutely will. And believe me, I know our community needs a breakthrough. I get messages and DMs and, and emails on a daily basis about women on their knees in brutal divorces with children with special needs, with abusive dynamics going on, or just the, 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 the soul crushing corporate job or trying to revive themselves after the death of a, a loved one. I mean, there's stuff. And those are some dark night of the soul times that will pass. And then there's others of us that maybe haven't had a life altering experience recently, but it doesn't necessarily require that to have you in anxiety or depression or feeling defeated or less than in some way. But I'm here to tell you, none of that is truth. And when we step into truth and when we focus on what we desire and when we do whatever is necessary to change the belief, change the attitude, you change your vibration and you change what you magnetize to you. I 10,000% in this moment know that big opportunities are coming my way in the way that only God could bring them to me. Gina's best thinking is kind of used up. It's a, it was a little 20, 2015. <laughs> like I had my big dreams and I, I thunk it up and a lot of those dreams got manifested. And now I, I just have this feeling that whatever I'm meant for next, I, I mean, I have essence of it and glimpses of it. My experiences of whatever ideas I had, God had bigger and better. And the same goes for you. So I want you to open up, open up for the breakthrough, open up for the miracle, open up for adjust that crown queen. Yes, those desires, they're real. And then there's a place for taking action. And you know what that action is. Send a DM, an email, finish a manuscript, a newsletter, a meeting, whatever it is, but it's not about massive action and it's not about pounding the pavement and it's not about being a hamster on a wheel. I want you to, re if you're going to take any action, it better be divinely guided. I was actually going to sit down and do the, do a podcast because I had a little bit of time, but I checked in and I was like, what am I meant to do next? And that's when I heard go meditate. 
So trust me, you want this version of the podcast versus like Gina an hour ago. I was working through some stuff. And ooh, what a difference an hour can make. What a difference when we've been here together 15 minutes can make. I hope that you use this as the spark that it's meant to be. A spark to be a disruption for anything mundane, anything you're putting up with, anything that you're tolerating, anything that you're letting be your status quo that you are not in love with. If you're in a relationship that you're not in love with, if you have a body dynamic that you're not in love with, if there's something going on in your career that you're not in love with, if there's a piece of furniture in your house that you're not in love with, an article of clothing in your closet that you're not in love with, change it. Make a decision, make a declaration, show up for yourself. Donate it, give it away, say no, cancel the meeting. <gasps> I know. It might not make you popular with the people that you're around right now, but I will tell you this. It's going to make you really popular with you. And that's what's important. You're going to love yourself and love your life and love your vibe. And then you'll see you're going to attract in whoever you are meant to work with. Whoever you are meant to be friends with whoever you are meant to be in a romantic relationship with. That all of what we desire requires us to raise our own self-esteem, to think more highly of ourselves, not in a self-obsessed way, in a masterpiece kind of way. God created you as the masterpiece that you are. And I want you to be in love with, with you, dazzled by you, not self-obsessed by you. To be in love with you is to see your pureness and your richness and your genius and your brilliance in the humblest of ways. And that's a great way to do life. That's a great way to do today. So let's pray. Dear God, thank you. Thank you for all of the truth of our desires. Thank you that when we focus on what we desire and we give that time and attention and emotion and joyful feelings, that we can feel those experiences, those people, those resources coming to us. We feel it so strongly in the present moment. Mm. It really is as if it's already done. When we are living as is, the actual manifestation almost seems less important, though I do love myself a good tangible result. Almost feels less important because we live and walk with the experience of it being already done. We declare that the spirit of you in our lives show up in very physical ways. We ask that on our faith journey, as we are strengthening and increasing our faith, that you would show up in the ways that we know, that we know, that we know that you are here in the midst of us. Anybody that's feeling a sense of doubt or defeat, lift them up in this moment. We bind any form of inferiority, any form of lack, any form of constriction. And we release abundance, love, power, impact over this entire community. And we pray this believing, amen. Amen, amen. If you're craving a transformation in your life, I invite you to come to my transformation in Tuscany 
retreat. I have one happening in June 2023 and one in September 2023. So you have a choice of two dates. Check out the link in the show notes or go to divineliving.com forward slash Tuscany. You want to experience what my mastermind members are going to experience? You come get yourself in the room. This is a standalone three-day retreat. It's not part of the year-long mastermind. It's where you and I get to be in the heart of Florence at the top of this boutique hotel overlooking the Arno and the Ponte Vecchio and, and having three days to just dial it in, submerge into your life. You get to be the focus of attention where we take a look at what else is meant for you. What's next for you? What must you experience during this short time that we have here on the planet? It's gonna be bold, it's gonna be extraordinary. It's gonna be a life even beyond your imagination. And it would be my great honor and joy to work with you in that very intimate capacity. So check out the details, divineliving.com forward slash Tuscany. Reach out to a girlfriend, maybe you and, and, and someone wants to do this with you. And I know it's been extraordinary for me to be on a bit of a girl's trip and retreat with my friend. So maybe that's the kind of soul nourishment that your heart could use as well. So check it out. And until next time, ladies, lots of love or see you in Tuscany. 